Hi, and welcome to CPAAccountantsIrvine.com. Let's talk about assets and liabilities. Making a profit in a business is derived from several different areas. It can get a little complicated because just as in our personal lives, business is run on credits as well. Many businesses sell their products to their customers on credit. CPA Accountants Irvine uses an asset account called Accounts Receivable to record the total amount owed to the business by its customers who haven't paid the balance in full yet. Much of the time, a business hasn't collected its receivables in full by the end of the fiscal year, especially for such credit balances that could be transacted near the end of the accounting period. The accountant records the sales revenue at the cost of goods sold for these sales in the year in which the sales were made and the products delivered to the customer. This is called accrual-based accounting, which records revenue when sales are made and records expenses when they're incurred as well. When sales are made on credit, the account's receivable asset account is increased. When cash is received from the customer, then the cash account is increased and the account's receivable account is decreased. So let me tell you about the cost of goods. The cost of goods sold is one of the major expenses of businesses that sell goods, products, or services. Even a service involves expenses. It means exactly what it says in that it's the cost that a business pays for the products it sells to customers. CPA Accountants Irvine shows that a business makes its profit by selling its products at prices high enough to cover the cost of producing them, the cost of running the business, the interest on any money they've borrowed in income taxes, with money left over for the profit. When the business acquires products, the cost of them goes into what's called an inventory asset account. The cost is deducted from the cash account or added to the account's payable liability account, depending on whether the business has paid with cash or credit. Now let's talk about gains and losses. It would probably a mm, simple the word simple. It would probably be ideal in business if life were as simple as producing goods, selling them, and recording the profits. But there are often circumstances that disrupt the cycle, and it's part of the accountant's job to report these as well. Changes in the business climate or cost of goods or any number of things can lead to exceptional or extraordinary gains and losses in some businesses. Some things that can alter the income statement can include downsizing or restructuring the business. This used to be a rare thing in business environment but is now fairly commonplace. In other circumstances, a business might decide to discontinue certain product lines. Western Union, for example, recently delivered its very last telegram. The nature of communications has changed so drastically with email, cell phones, and other forms that telegrams have been rendered obsolete. When you no longer sell enough of a product at a high enough profit to make the cost of manufacturing it worthwhile, then it's time to change your product mix. Lawsuits and other legal actions can cause extraordinary losses or gains as well. If you win damages in a lawsuit against others, then you've incurred an extraordinary gain. Likewise, if your own legal fees and damages or fines are excessive, then these can significantly impact the income statement. Occasionally, a business will change accounting methods or need to correct any errors that have been made in previous financial reports. Generally accepted accounting procedures, or GAAP, requires that businesses make any one-time losses or gains very visible in their income statement. So all businesses need a balance sheet. A balance sheet is a quick picture of the financial condition of a business at a specific period in time. The activities of a business fall into two separate groups that are reported by an accountant. They are profit-making activities, which include sales and expenses. This can also be referred to as operating activities. There are also financing and investing activities that include securing money from debt and equity sources of capital, returning capital to these sources, making distributions from profit to the owners, making investments in assets, and eventually disposing of the assets. Profit-making activities are reported in the income statement. Financing and investing activities are found in the statement of cash flows. In other words, 
two different financial statements are prepared for the two different types of transactions. CPA accountants Irvine notes, the statement of cash flows also reports the cash increase or decrease from profit during the year as opposed to the amount of profit that is reported in the income statement. The balance sheet is different from the income and cash flow statements, which reports income cash and outgoing cash. The balance sheet represents the balances or amounts on a company's assets, liabilities, and owner's equity at an instant in time. The word balance has different meanings at different times. As it's used in the term balance sheet, it refers to the balance of the two opposite sides of a business. Total assets on one side and total liabilities on the other. However, the balance of an account, such as the asset liability, revenue, and expense accounts, refers to the amounts in the account after recording increases and decreases in the account, just like the balance in your checking account. Accountants can prepare a balance sheet any time that a manager requests it, but they're generally prepared at the end of each month, quarter, and year. It's always prepared at the close of a business on the last day of the profit period. For more information and to schedule a free consultation, please visit us at cpa-accountant-irvine.com.